Welcome, Helen Duberstein. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's great to have you here, and I'm so happy that you're part of West Play, the Dream Tree Playwrights Project. I'm happy to be part of it, too. <laughs> oh, are you? Are you enjoying it? Yes, very much. Oh, great. That makes me feel really wonderful. So let me ask you, you're a novelist, you're a playwright. When did you start writing plays? I started writing plays in the early 60s, and um, it came out of being a poet writing poetry because um, I began to realize that in, in my poems, in my poetry, the lines would, like one line would answer another line. It would change persona. So that's what I did. And where were your plays originally produced? They, would re they were produced um, at Theater for New City, or, or The Old Reliable, we had these theaters in, the, in bars. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's great. It was nice. It was you know, circle that did oh. my first uh, full length book. Let me ask you, what do you think of the state of the theater today? <laughs> I love theater, and of course it changes all the time. But uh, I just love this. I love theater, and I love doing theater, and being in theater, and seeing theater. So you're a real... Yeah, that changes. Yeah. That, um, do you have any advice for young playwrights? Just keep in there. That's about <laughs> it. <laughs> and, um, you know, is there anything else that you'd like to share and tell us about yourself? Well, you have such a rich, you know, background, so I'd love to know more. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that. Rich background, but uh, I've enjoyed whatever I've done. And I think that that's the most important thing: is to be able to enjoy what you're doing. So I came to West Beth, and uh, that was a happy thing. <laughs> How long have you lived in West Beth? Since it started. <laughs> oh, you're one of the original people. Yeah. And so. And at that time, Circle Rep used to do a lot of work down here, also. Of course, it was Theatre for New City it was here, too. It was nice. Well, it's thank nice. you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for, you know, spending a few minutes with me. And I look forward to seeing Wash Ashores, you know. Me too. Uh, <laughs> just one question. Can you just tell me, you know, where did you get the idea for Wash Ashores? Well, I always have loved Providence Town. I always wanted to live there. And um, I bought a condo in Provincetown. And, but we summered there for many, many years. I've summered there since I was 17, or been there since I was 17. And so I was so happy. And then I met somebody in the market who uh, lived there year round. So I was very excited and I said, I just got this place in Robinson. <laughs> and she said, I just sold my place. I said, no, how could you do that? She said, well, I'm going to New York. <laughs> so there we were with two different dreams. So that's, how, that's the, seed, the seed of it, you know. Oh, well, thank you for sharing your stories. And um, we look forward to seeing you at the performance October 20th. West Play, The Dream Tree, The Playwrights Project. Thank you very, very much. I look forward to it too. <laughs>